Can you see them, folks? Can you see them? I don't know where they are. They're probably Buck and Seville or something like that. Leave them to it. But Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. I hope you are all doing well. What a result today. This is your first time coming across the channel and you're a Celtic fan. You know what to do. Press the red button. Please subscribe. Thumbs up or a comment below would be fantastic. Before the game kicked off, I said four goals for Celtic. I said four nil, but it's four one. And champagne is basically going to be poured into the mill because we are champions. Hasn't been officially confirmed champions because of the goal difference and Rangers playing tomorrow. Rangers drop points tomorrow. Get the champagne out. It's going to be a beautiful Sunday. You know, get the flip flops out. Get the beach balls out because I'm telling you one thing. That swimming pool is getting done up with champagne. My way of champagne. Who would have thought it? 10 league titles in 11 years as a Celtic fan. Unbelievable. Championship number 52. Now, that's without breaking any club's history. Number 52. But what a performance today. You look at me. Leaked the goal the first five minutes. It was bad defending by Starfeld. And obviously a bit of a deflection off Ralston. But we got back in the game. Them boys played well. They got into the rhythm of the game. Greg Taylor was outstanding today. Left back. I thought he really got stuck in. Especially there was a tackle in the second half. That really stuck out for me. And we got back in. And we got a goal from Moyeda. Lovely assist from Jota. Not just one assist by Jota today. Two assists by Jota. For Coyogo's 18th goal of the season. Let's hope Coyogo finished on the 20 mark. Considering he was injured. And he's being missed. But you could see him when he was celebrating. Kissing that crest. Right towards the fans. Oh, I love him absolutely love them you know the crop of players that we have at the moment they're brilliant there's a couple of duds like every team has but players are fighting for the cause fighting for the short fighting for the position fighting for the fans fighting for the championship and you know what another tick a premier sports cup ticked a league title ticked and callum mcgregor's four, se four season as captain unbelievable unbelievable prove me wrong and just proved me wrong since the start of the season. And I know what. A man that was a name on the unknown to me. What a manager. You could see at full time the passion when they were going around. But the second half of the game, you know, we were dominant. 65% possession. No no bookings for Celtic today. The fans were unbelievable. The huddle, you know, the atmosphere. We just absolutely immense. I would have loved to be in there today. But unbelievable stuff. Matt O'Reilly scored again. Nice goal. Yeah, Gordon tried to get down on it. Hit. It was too powerful for him, for L. Craig Gordon, the keeper of the season. Look at Craig Gordon's being cracking keeper. It could have been six or seven today only for him. And look at it. it is what it is. But Atate came off the bench. Jack and Marcus came off. Abade, Jamesy, you know. We done well. We done very well today. And to see obviously Jack and Marcus scoring as well. They were saying that it's his twelfth goal. 12th goal and he's 11 out which is not it's not bad it's not bad at all El George has to do well it's healthy competition you know we're obviously going to be strengthened in the summer because we have Champions League football to come as well you know Champions League group stage Champions League you know um, a team a team on the other side of the, the river might get Champions League but it's not confirmed but we it's confirmed the Glasgow Celtic will be in the Champions League group stages next year the Disco Lights Take it all in, folks. It's been a remarkable season. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been watching it since day one. And if you're only new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor. Share the channel, folks. It's not going to cost you a penny. Just to click share. Your friends like it. They like it. They don't. They don't. I can't keep everyone happy. But I will be back tonight with a podcast at half night. My man in the match today has to be Jota. Look, he was interviewed at the end of the the game and he was asked about his future and he said look i'm just focusing what's in front of me at the moment these two games let's let's get our achievements done and let's see what happens in the summer it was the same with Andrew as well Andrew's interview today and he was asked about the game tomorrow he's like no it's my day off i'm gonna go gonna go and watch a movie tomorrow with my kids yeah maybe i'll keep a small line but it's not it's not important to me my kids are more important and that's the way it is folks kids are more important than glasgow celtic and that's the way it is but um look at what a result character of the team to come back into the game and just get them four goals and have the place rocking next week Motherwell at Paradise for the final home game it's going to be rocking and Tana Dice on Wednesday night well lucky we lost the league at Tana Dice last year as much as I hate saying it but 
lift your stomach up and we're going to clinch the lake officially clinch it there that's when you're going to see on the sky sports that beautiful yellow yellow board and going across celtic and i'll have c so look at c for champions let's let's all be honest we are champions we're champions there's no way we're gonna mess this up so unless they're gonna like score fifa amateur goals you know <laughs> it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen folks man the match has to be jot as i said um i'll speak to you all soon god bless please comment please subscribe and i'll take care all the best